Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're going to look at blending and scaling shapes along a line in Illustrator. And we're going to look at something other than the Blend tool as a possible solution. But before we get to the other solution, let's have a look at the Blend tool solution. I have two shapes here, they're identical. It's just that this one is a smaller version of this. I'm going to select over both of these shapes and I'm going to make a blend out of them. So I'm going to the Blend tool, I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to click on one shape, click on the second shape, and then I'm going to double click on the Blend tool so that I can set it to specified steps. I'm just going to increase the number of steps so that we get a good transition from big to small. I'm going to make a duplicate of this because I want to keep one copy as a reference. Typically, if you wanted to put this along a path, you would select the blend and the path that you want to put it along. And then you would choose Object Blend and then choose Replace Spine. And that puts the blended objects along that path. It's just that it's been spectacularly unsuccessful in this case. If I double click on this shape and choose a different orientation, it's really not helping me at all. The blend is just not traveling along the path in the way that I want it to. I want it to look like this, but right along the path. So I'm just going to delete that because it's not going to be what I want. And let's have a look at an alternate solution. I'm going to go and select this shape here. I'm going to make a duplicate by Alt dragging a duplicate away. And this one I'm going to size down quite a bit. But I am going to increase its stroke a little bit so it's a little bit more balanced. I'm going to make sure it's centered and I'm going to make my blend. I'm going to double click on the Blend tool and I'm going to again make some more shapes. I'm going to choose Specified Steps and increase the number of shapes until I have something I like. At this point, I'm going to burst this blend out. So I'm going to choose Object and then Blend, and I'm going to choose Expand. What that does is it breaks the blend out, so I just have a series of shapes. So I've got a series of paths here that are decreasing in size. So let's just tuck that out of the way. So I'm going to select all of these shapes here now, and I'm going to make an art brush out of them. So I'm going to click New Brush and then Art Brush and click OK. Of course, I'm getting to that from the Brushes panel. Now I'm noting that my brushes are currently going to paint from the top down. That's fine, or you can flip it if you want to. Just really depends on how you're thinking of making the stroke that you want the brush to be appended to. I can choose Scale Proportionately or Stretch to Fit Stroke Length. It doesn't really matter because you can test it later on and change it if you want to. If you want to be able to change the color of this, you will set the method of colorization to tints and just click OK. So now I'm going to go and get my paintbrush and I'm going to select my new brush and I'm going to draw the shape that I want my path to follow. So you can see this time we've got a very different result in our blended shape. We've got a series of shapes that go from big to small and they're going along a path. Now if you want to be a bit more accurate with your path, you don't have to use the brush tool. I'm going to use the pen tool. I'm going to click and drag and then come up here and click and drag to create my line. I'll press escape when I'm done. Now I'm going to select the line with the Selection tool and then click here on the brush. And that's going to apply the brush to my line. Again, you can see that we're getting a much better result for our blend than we were getting when we tried to replace the spine for our blend. So anytime you want to get something that looks like this with a series of shapes running along a path really, really nicely, going from large to small, consider using your blend to make your series of shapes and then breaking it out and making an art brush from it and then applying that art brush to a line. My name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial. If you did enjoy the tutorial, please consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. 
and visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications, including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.